A dinosaur is one of the most thrilling animals that ever lived. At the San Diego History Museum, Bill Stout's passion is wall to wall. The most fun that I have in my life is painting these murals. As high as 35 feet, Stout's murals done in oil allow us to see San Diego as it once was. These murals are a depiction of prehistoric life of the San Diego area, dating back from about 65 million years ago, or 70 million years ago, to about 2,000 years ago. The paintings are part of the museum's fossil mystery exhibit, with an emphasis on mystery. In this painting, I hid seven snakes. In this painting, seven. I, I hid uh, seven lizards. So kids can go and they can look and try to find where all the lizards are. Here's one of them right here. Here's an alligator lizard. Along with lizards, you might spot a spotted lion, giant sloth, or saber-toothed tiger, all captured by hand. If I have a choice between a camera and a sketch pad, I'll take the sketch pad because I can watch animals behave and capture the gesture and the motion. And the sound. <laughs> it's funny you mention that because I, I make sound effects while I'm doing the paintings, you know. <laughs> you know, if, if the dinosaurs are fighting, I'll be painting and go, <laughs> you know. <laughs> In San Diego, a dinosaur survival was not confined to just the land. And I was able to paint a recreation of the gigantic prehistoric lizard called a mosasaur, uh, the ancestor of the, uh, of the monitor lizards, like the Komodo dragon lizard. And uh, it is in, involved in a feeding frenzy with, with a whole bunch of ammonites, which are very similar to nautilus and, and squid. Chosen from hundreds of artists, Bill Stout's reputation is as big as the prehistoric panoramas he paints. You know, the name that I have in my own neighborhood, the kids on the street call me the Dinosaur Man. I have a big Tyrannosaurus Rex skull in my living room. Bill's dinosaurs have been featured in three dozen of Hollywood's top creature features, including Jurassic Park. In Jurassic Park, I'm really proud of the concepts of mine that got into the film. And Disney's computer animated masterpiece, Dinosaur. And the, the Disney people said, we've got a, a big problem. Can you give us a family of iguanodons where as soon as the audience sees each one on the screen, they can tell them apart, yet still remain scientifically accurate? I said, sure, I, I think I can do that. He looks just like me. <laughs> With so many projects, Bill Stout has had to learn to work fast. Bill, are you sure this is just a quick sketch? Yeah, this is really quick. This took a, about a day or two. What I wanted to show the museum was that if they hired me to do the murals, their murals would have a lot of color, would uh, have interaction between the animals, uh, and they, they'd be vivid and, and fun to look at. It's also fun to look at the biggest reason Bill became an artist in the first place. Bill, it's the face only Faye Ray would love. Yeah, he's the tallest, darkest leading man in Hollywood. The very first movie I ever saw, I was three years old, my parents took me to the Reseda Drive-In, and it was for a re-release of the original 1933 King Kong. And I think it did damage at a genetic level. I have been into dinosaurs ever since. My, what big teeth you got. <laughs> Yep, Kong, Kong's the well that never runs dry for me. I, I'm constantly going back to this film for inspiration. In San Diego, dinosaurs are long extinct. But here on the walls of the Natural History Museum, Bill Stout's inspiration is sure to live on. What's really important to me is that you, the public who use these paintings, looks and sees the unbelievable diversity of life that was here in San Diego. And, and realizes that most of that is gone now and how precious it is to preserve and save what we do still have here.